Hey everyone, this is Allie Katz with Eyes Wide Open Life. It's great to be here with you this morning and once again here right after my workout because I have a really important message for you that uh, has been coming up a lot over the past few days as I've been talking to friends who have been contacting me for guidance on what to do about their credit and debt situation. And we're going to be talking about this today in the Eyes Wide Open tribe because I want to make sure that you don't make this mistake right now that I see a lot of the people that I've been talking to at risk of making. So if you have a decent credit score right now and you have also fairly significant debt for you. Now, this is all relative, right? Some people have $20,000 of debt, and that's a lot for them. Somebody I spoke with recently has $230,000 of debt, right? So this is all relative. But it, this is important for you if you have a good credit score. And when I say good, I mean anywhere in the neighborhood of 670 and up, okay, 670 and up. So if you have a credit score that is 670 and up, that means you have a decent credit score and your credit score can very likely pretty quickly recover to over 720. The reason that that's important is that when your credit score recovers to over 720, that gets you access to more credit. And in today's interest rate environment, and with the future of the economy so unknown, we have to have ourselves in a situation where we recognize we create the economy. We create the economy. That means me, that means you, and that means that we need to have access to the capital and the resources that we need to be able to do that independent of the government independent of the big corporations. So it doesn't matter what's happening out there on mainstream media. We have what we need to create the future that we want. Your credit score is incredibly valuable towards that end. But it's not if you make a bad decision right now and crash your credit score because you haven't thought it all the way through or because you don't necessarily understand how it works. So for example, Friend contacted me last night. Um, he's got about um, thirty thousand dollars of debt, and he was contacting me to see if I had ever, or if I knew anything about negotiating down credit card to get forgiveness, right? So that he didn't need to keep paying on that, or maybe he could pay lower amounts, or maybe he could get that thirty thousand dollars paid off with five thousand dollars. That is an option right now. But if you do that, you are going to crash your credit score and you will not have any more access to capital. So I actually gave him extremely counterintuitive advice, counterintuitive based on what the mainstream media would tell you, what the, a traditional financial advisor would tell you. And I'm going to share that with you today in the Eyes Wide Open Tribe because it's really important that you do not make a bad decision right now and as a result, decrease your access to the resources that you need to step into your sovereignty. We need you to step in your, into your sovereignty right now and take those zeros and ones, which is really what money is, right? Capital, uh, cash, money, credit, investments in the stock market, it's zeros and ones, right? We need to turn that into real value real value that you can count on as a resource for you no matter what happens with the economy, with the credit system. And that requires you to be making sovereign choices, empowered sovereign choices is what I call it, where you make your choices from understanding the system and you don't make mistakes that will take too long to clean up, okay? So um, if you want to comment here, uh, this, these are all being broadcast publicly. So you may not want to share um, private details about your credit or debt situation. Um, if you want to talk about this and what is the right thing to do for your credit and debt situation in more of a private space, not totally private, it is still a public Facebook group um, that you have to apply to get into, come on over to the Eyes Wide Open tribe. Let's talk about it there so that you're making the right decisions with the use of your resources 
right now. This is just too important for you to make a decision that could impact your ability to get credit for years to come. Because what's going to happen in the credit system over the coming years, most likely, is we are going to re-enter a high interest rate environment. Eventually, credit will tighten up. It will be more difficult to get access to those resources. Right now, we are in <clears throat> the lowest possible interest rate environment. Right now, getting access to capital through credit is extremely inexpensive. And if your credit score is decent, this is one of the best decisions that you can make right now is to get yourself access to that capital through the credit system and use it wisely. Start to shift whatever beliefs that you may have about credit being bad and recognize that those beliefs come from a lack of self-trust of knowing how to use the credit. Great. That doesn't mean you need to throw the baby out with the bathwater. What it means is that you need to learn how to use your resources wisely. You need to learn how to make great decisions so you can have self-trust and know that you are using your resources wisely. You don't need to be afraid of credit. You don't need to be afraid of using debt. You need to learn how to make good decisions about how to use it in the highest and best way possible so you can convert those zeros and ones into the resources that can never be taken away from you no matter what, that will allow you to step into your role as a creator in the economy, will allow you to shift from the consumer mentality that we have all been bombarded with our entire lives based in scarcity and not enoughness and into a reality where you see that you actually do have enough. You are being given access to everything that you need to create the future that you want. You just have to learn to see it and use it wisely past the conditioning of the past and step into your empowered sovereign future and access to credit and capital is one of the very best ways for you to do that. So come on over into the tribe, Eyes Wide Open Tribe on Facebook as of right now. We might be looking for another platform um, that is even a safer space, but for right now we're on Eyes Wide Open Tribe on Facebook. Ask to join, fill out the questions, answer the questions. Um, it is a safe or place to get uh, to get guidance uh, instead of just posting publicly. And um, if you know anybody who needs to hear this message, who might be looking at making a very bad decision that will have impact and, and redu reduce ability to get access to resources, please share this message with them and invite them to join the tribe as well. Okay, thank you all so much for listening and taking this in and looking at your personal situation right now to determine whether you actually have an opportunity here in the form of your credit score to get access to the capital that you're going to need and want to build and create the future that you want to have. Start to dream into, if I had access to 50 to $100,000 of credit, and I trusted myself to use it wisely, what would I do with it? That's the question I want to leave you with today. If I had access to fifty dollars to $100,000 of credit or capital, and I trusted myself to use it wisely, what would I do with it? This is the opportunity that's in front of us right now. The credit markets are open. Credit is an available resource. It's an incredible resource. Everything that I have built in my life so far has been done as a result of my wise use of credit. Now, some of you might say, what do you mean wise use? You filed bankruptcy. Yes, I did in 2012, and it was a wise decision. It was a wise decision. So I'll speak to that more at another time. But everything that I uh, utilized before I filed bankruptcy was invested into things that could never be taken away from me, my own resourcefulness, my own creativity and community, my empowered sovereignty. And then after that, I took all of the knowledge of what I learned as a result of that, plus what I learned through the bankruptcy and rebuilt on a stronger, more solid foundation where I have complete self-trust about how I use my resources now. I want the same for you as well. I want the same for you as well. I wanna see you making wise decisions with the resources that you have available to you, including credit, so that together we can step into the new economy because we 
create the economy. So your assignment today is to dream into if you had 50 to $150,000 of resource available to you, what would you do with it? How would you use it? How can we start to create self-trust for you there so that you're making your decisions from this empowered sovereign place and creating the future that you want and that we want collectively? This is Ali Katz with Eyes Wide Open Life. Please do subscribe if you're here on YouTube. Share this with anybody that you know needs to hear it and join us in the Eyes Wide Open tribe. Bye for now.